Okay, we are over at my friend Greg's place, and he is going to uh, fuel up his little uh, little mini gasifier here with a big handful of wood chips. Let's stick some of the wood chips in. Chuck those things in there. We're going to use mostly wood chips, but we'll also add some um, wood pellets to it to give it a little bit higher fuel density. So you just, want to uh, <laughs> fill it just up, just about to the brim, just below yeah, the just, uh, little air hole. Just about there, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And um, let's see. You want enough space between the fuel pieces so the air and the combustion gases can flow up through the bottom. The uh, both primary and secondary combustion gas or air enters through these bottom holes and it gives it access to all those holes that you just saw in the bottom of the inner four inch um, steel tube. Um, but it also allows air to pass through the air warming chamber between the uh, inner tube and the outer tube and then that secondary combustion air is introduced by all the quarter inch holes you see drilled around the um, periphery of the top of the mm -hmm. um, combustion tube. Um, to start this, Ben, what I'm going to do is uh, here's some biochar, and this biochar is still burning from our last burn, and I'm going to sprinkle it on top, kind of like a starter. Try not to get it on the floor because the floor is all biomass. You know, a lot of guys would probably do this outside. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're kind of outside. Kind of. Kind of. Uh, yeah, we can see Hey, wait a minute. Oh, you, you didn't put a match in there or a blowtorch or anything, and it's starting to smoke already just from that hot charcoal you put on there. Right. Um, what's happening here is we put that hot charcoal on the biomass and it's beginning to heat up and off gas. All the volatile organic compounds contained within that wood are getting so hot that they're just vaporizing and they come off as a sturdy smoke. So that smoke there, that's flammable? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. it's pr when biomass um, pyrolysizes, it gives off its gases there's a series of things that are going to... I'm going to put this chimney on and light it just so we don't pollute ourselves to death. <laughs> oh, good. It's going. It's going all right. Ah. Now you can tell that's really dirty. I got a little got in my eyes and it hurt like crazy. But now that we light them and it's already working, now we have good gasification occurring down there. And what was happening before was the first... Uh, Things to volatize off are like um, uh, lactic acids and other types of low um, vaporizing organic compounds and then you get into alcohols that get vaporized and then you get into um, more and more higher complex molecules that, uh, until finally you're vaporizing tars and really hard things to vaporize. Um, and while that was being introduced there wasn't enough heat and there wasn't the spark flame to get the thing going to actually burn so it was smoking a lot and as it began to give off more and more of those gases they finally became combustible especially when mixed with air and we lit them and you now we got that nice flame there. So that's how you start up a gasifier. Nice and warm? Yeah. There's some crud. It's <laughs> the problem when you design it to such uh, tight tolerances. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I guess it is sleeved pretty close. And just that one foot chimney makes a huge difference in how the fire burns. Now it's burning at a really nice controlled rate. It's burning really clean. You can put your face right over it. Your eyes don't hurt. It doesn't really smell like smoke. It smells more like Heat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, heat. It's just heat. Apple pie. <laughs> so now it's burning as a good gasifier, and it'll probably burn like this with this charge of wood for 15 or, I don't know, how long did the last one go? Maybe 20 minutes? Something like that. Which would be, what, long enough to uh, boil some water, cook some dinner on, do some things like that with, huh? Probably so. Mm -hmm. Snow the water. And then we got a pan skirt that fits on top of that. And... And gives you a little more chimney action too. A little more chimney action and better heat transfer between the uh, flue gases and the, stain, the sides of the stainless steel pan. So there you have it. That's uh, how you start up a little uh, 
wood gas gasifier device. Okay, here we have this a uh, few minutes later since we were videotaping. Uh, we're now boiling that off. Watch your camera now. Woo! Uh, you can even hear it burning uh, down there. It's a roaring flame. It's a rocket. Yowch. It's very hot. Yeah, but it's driving itself. And we also, uh, <laughs> formerly this was painted and now it's not so painted. <laughs>